Hi guys, my name is Dustin Apple and this is my marine channel, okay? The home guy who needs help tuning everything. Um, we get into all kinds of stuff here. A little bit of archery, a little bit of hunting, a little bit of bow fishing, and a lot of boats and a little bit of fabrication as well. So if it's your first time joining the channel, well, congratulations. I'm your new best friend. But you gotta hit that subscribe box. Today we are installing a Norel hydraulic uh, steering system on this Mercury 115 Pro XS. Yeah, it's white, I know, but trust me, it's a Pro XS. Uh so for this portion of the install, there's only a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need either a sharp knife or actual hose cutter, a number 19, number 17, and a number 12 wrench, and that's it. So, here's what your fitting is going to look like when you get it in the package. What I didn't realize to begin with was that you need to remove this and take this apart to install it. So go ahead and remove the stud from the collar, okay? And that'll give you a collar that looks like this. One end will have about a half inch of fine threads and then the other end has a very large coarse thread. And what you're going to want to do is take your clean cut straight edged hose and on the coarse end work this collar around until it starts to grab. When it starts to grab and it becomes harder than you can hang on to, go ahead and take your number 17 wrench, put it on the end of it and keep pushing and keep twisting. And when you get done, it'll end up like this right here. You can see the little white ring in there, that is actually our hose that is all the way up here, right to the end of our fine thread. When you get that done, see the little smooth portion on the end of your, uh, the barb here? We're actually going to push that, line that up into the hose, and then begin turning. You, you can't turn this very much with your fingers, okay? But you can get it started. To test it, go ahead and yank on it. If you can't pull it out of there, that means you should have it properly seated. Now we're gonna take our number 17 and hold our collar. And then right here at the base of our stud, there is a number 12 fitting, okay? And we can just start working this stud into our collar, all right? And there you have it guys. Once you get done, um, the thickness of your wrench will actually bottom out and you can't turn it anymore, okay? Um, when you get to this portion, you can go ahead and remove the plug. Try to keep your rights and lefts. Um, you got a red and a blue, so I always remember red is port, just like your navigation lights, right? Um, and keep them separate, so on the pump, you want to mount your red on the port side as well as when you get back here to the hydraulic cylinder mount it on the cylinder on the right side as well don't forget to shoot straight shoot often wear the pfds and if you see me out this weekend well <laughs> you better say hi quick because i'm gonna be hard to catch y'all be good